Jessica Patterson, I ride for MFAT Fox Rockstar Yamaha, and this is my five. So it seems. I grew up racing, my idol had to be Ricky Carmichael because he was there in my hometown, him and Earl May were there, and you know, those guys were on another level, they're fast, you know, I was with them practicing every day, and you know, I also looked up to K-Dub, that guy is always smooth, and he is a little bit younger, and I think just those three guys I, I looked up to, and I wanted to be like them, and um, you know, here I am. I don't know if you could say it was my best birthday present, but I turned 21, usually you have like these big raging parties and everything, well, my dad decided to go out and he bought me a go-kart and a bunch of toys. I don't know if it was the best, but it was like the craziest thing. It was probably the weirdest, I guess you could say, 21st birthday present. I was like, Dad, are you for real? I still have to go skydiving. I haven't been in a hot air balloon. I've already done a lot of extreme things, so it's like I kind of just go day by day. If I decide that I want to do it one day, I would say I, ha I would have to do it. I'd have to say my most memorable racing moment would be my first Loyalist Championship in 1999. And I went into the second moto, Steffi Bell and I were tied. Came down to the last lap at the last corner right before the finish. She was right in front of me. We battled the entire moto. We came into the sweeper right before the doubles and I just remember and this is it. Like I have to do it. So I, I ran in super hard. I came in, I cut her off and ended up jumping the finish line and uh, got the win. I, I just won't forget that one because I just remember the last lap. I just went right for it. And at that age, I was just about to turn pro. So that was a big deal for me to step up and get that championship under my belt and, and move on. Eddie and I were going, uh, we were somewhere up north. The cops pulled us over. We we're in my motorhome and truck, towing the truck. And first of all, they take Eddie out, wanting to see all the registration, all the normal stuff. Then they start putting on all these gloves. Two more cop cars pull up. More guys get out, they have gloves on, like they have their guns out, they have everything like, like we're full criminals, like it's totally crazy. I'm like, oh my God, what's going on? Next thing you know, my truck doors are wide open. Then they come into the motorhome, there's questioning me and Eddie at separate times and they're just going nuts, like thinking we're criminals, asking if we have any like drugs or weapons or anything. They're like. So you don't have a little bit of drugs in here? You don't have anything? I was like, well, we have a gun. And he's like, well, let me see it. So finally I showed him and he's like, oh, okay. And it was just a total nightmare. I felt like we had just murdered somebody and they had searched through the entire thing and we stayed there for like an hour and a half and then they just let us go. And I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> 